For this session, we're going to continue to work with some ball mastery moves before moving on to some relatively simple receive, move, pass drills, which incorporate some of the skills we've used and developed in previous sessions. Performing ball mastery skills over a period of time will certainly develop a player's relationship with the ball, where eventually they'll be able to perform them without even having to think. This will help them evade opponents quicker and in doing so provide them more time to scan and pick out their next move, all extremely important in becoming a better player. These ball mastery skills are all self-explanatory, but with help from Owen Bain's demos, you should be able to pick them up pretty quickly. As with all ball mastery moves, there are some key points. You should start slow and gain speed with confidence, get into a rhythm, try to develop a nice sharp movement of the ball, keep the ball close and under control at all times, whilst always retaining your balance. Once you're satisfied you've got to grips with ball mastery moves, why not think about a progression where you keep your chin up, glance about you, scanning your surroundings whilst you're doing all the moves at the same time. The final part of this session involves receiving the ball, moving sideways around an obstacle and passing it on. These drills are all about being able to take the ball under control on the move, shifting it sideways before delivering a nice pass. Another person feeding the ball in would be good, or using a wall would also work perfectly well. Also, don't worry about having to take an extra touch from time to time or the ball not being delivered to you just right. Remember, in games the ball isn't always passed to you perfectly, but what's important is that you react and fix the situation as quickly as possible and carry on. This is a slightly more technical move where you'll be asked to use the inside of your foot to roll the ball sideways and try to get good grip between your boot and the ball to allow a smooth movement. Again, you'll be working on both sides to develop both feet at the same time. Again, this move is slightly more technical than the last. We've slowed it down a bit so you can see how the ball is controlled by the inside of one foot and it shifts it sideways behind the standing leg before delivering the return pass. Once you're happy you've mastered all these drills, a progression would be to carry it say 10 on each side without having to take an extra touch 